Hey YouTubers, this is me, Charmis. Um, just give me a second. Um, just putting stuff away. That's all. Um, anyway, sorry about that. Anyway, I'm right now I'm going to show you off of VHS D D Blue Rapti. The first update for the new year. For it's out for January fifth. Uh, 2024 so I'll probably show you some stuff that I got including one I just got today which is that one only blu-ray so let's get started first we have you got you got next this is a German Rose um Miller's um be a trustee this is about basketball stuff actually I bought this because I always buy a basketball via trustee for my collection and I do know General Motors is actually the company that I think, I think they used to make, um, they once made the Amtrak at 40 pHs, I'm not sure, uh, I think so, I'm not, I can't remember. It's got an end label on this tape. And I actually did remember I used to play basketball one time when I was in high school, but I'll explain more on the Shabby You Warren Show, episode 13. Uh, let me go. Next page has out. I also got this at South Asia Army in Colonia. This VHS is pretty interesting. It has some shrink wrap around it. And as you can see, it's an Anchor Bay tape. This is my first, I would say, VHS tape from Anchor Bay that's not a Thomas tape. Why? I just want to have it always from my collection. Wow, that's all that matters. This one's an EP mode, so I'm fine with that. And the pretty, as you can see, it got V on this one. I'm not sure what it's going to read. Read, but I probably will. I don't know if it's if I can read or not. I'll probably let you know later. Um, in the description. Next up, this one I got a different one. This one was a different one in. I think it was West of Albany. This is an Easter movie. I I'll probably be checking it out when spring rolls around. As you can see, this is actually an Avon copy with this side info. And the label and it's signed for. And there are two printdates, which the first printday is March. Um, let me check. The first printday is March um, 2nd. Um, let me check. Um, March uh, 9th, 8th, 1993. And March uh, 9th, 1993. So pray um, one day apart. I'll be checking this out when Easter rolls around. Next. Are the DDs. These I got for a Facebook um, seller who was actually who once his um, dad once used to have these DDs, but he unfortunately passed away a few uh, last year. I got these from a um, Facebook market share lot, which we met up together, including some DDs. I've been wanting to check out. This is my first. These are my first G gauge um, DDs. I would say. I've been wanting those for a clutch of discs, but I don't have that model train gauge. Here's the disc. Next DD is this. I don't think I have any videos from this company. Um, I think I've seen these um, previewing at some G gauge way or something. I can't remember. Here's disc one. This is the 2009 convention. Hmm. This is the... Um, Hmm, I'm not sure when all these conventions um, took place in each city. And this is actually, some of these DDs are very um, interesting. This is the first time I've ever seen a DD case being looking like, um, let's see. That style, which I've never seen them acting like that. Um, well, at least it's not as hard as a stacking case, but, um, and that goes in mail, but it's kind of well, that's pretty strange. I'll have to be extremely careful. I'm not sure what family of movie courts fast and one is going to think about a DD case being like this. Not sure what he's going to think about it. I mean, I don't know if he's going to hate or not. Oops, sorry. Mm. I do know the year of these. Um, I believe I didn't check out all of them. Well, I only checked through one of those that was sort of like this case, but I don't think I checked through, um, one after that. Uh, okay. Alright. Here's what it looks like. And here's what this two looks like, um. 
All right. Next up, are the DDs. The main reason I got the bundle was to get these DDs. Here we have all our toy trains all board 2011 DD. Yeah, um, Spanel Asses, I got a new I have a toy train DDs. Um, here's a disc. Next up is Ticket to Ride. From 2013, although the back says it's from 2014, you know it's from 2014, which is a big mistake. Here's the disc, and this is the main reason I got the bundle in the first place was to get this. Check this out. I finally have this DD box set. Been wanting this for my collection. Now I finally have it. And the main reason I wanted to get it was to get this uh, Toy Trains of Christmas Rarity 2002 um, move movie. I have this. Unfortunately, I'm unable to watch it. Um, so I'll probably watch it next um, December when Christmas rolls around again, or maybe in July for Christmas July. Although the back says it's from 2014, despite it was released in 2013, and all these are reprint DDs. Check this out. See that proof? <coughs> Next DD. It's a really strange pain. Um, this is a program that has 18 um, programs that movies on um, 20 hours. This is, um, mm, yeah, this is kind of really hard to keep together because this is a really strange case. Not, I'm not sure what each program video has got, but I do know one of them is actually keep falling off of the case. See that Papu, this disc always keeps falling off. It's really hard to get it back in place and even without getting strong scratching, which I really like this DD, but it's hard to keep clear DDs without getting scratched in my opinion. I'm not gonna reveal the other side of the DDs because of how painful it is. Next up, the, this is the last DD that got bundle. It also came with some other DDs, including some other Lionel Nation DDs, as well as some DDs I already had, so I gave it away, um, so yeah. Here's the front, and actually, this is, a, I'm actually keeping this because of a particular thing that you may be shocked by. Just give me a minute, I'll just get rid of my, I'll get my other one, because there is something really different compared to what I already have. You can see this one says copyright from 2001. Well, this one says 2011. Yeah, you may get this right, but check this out. I just want to get the other one open. This one I got this at the York on train show in 2016. And this one is seven shocking TM fans. Check this out. It's a clear disc, which it's 2002. I think the back of this one was wrong, which that is really, really rare. I believe my cop I believe this version of this DD is extremely rare and out of print. This is the same insert that came with some of my Iowa Toy Train DDs. And what the what what the DDs I got from the bundle I didn't really need. I decided to place that sort of like insert in my copy of part seven. Eight and nine. Next DD, I got Safety Sherman where I also got these tapes. All about airplanes and flying machines, two thousand seven DD. I'm not sure how, I don't know if a kid would be 103 years old to be able to watch this. That's pretty strange, but whatever. Here's the front. Spine. The back. This is the only video that features this narrator, um, unfortunately. I think the reason feature it was because he was more of a point expert where Jeff was not. Well, so yeah. I've been wanting to check out this movie for quite some time now. I finally have it. Here's the disc, um, and I'll, next time my cousin Tristan comes over, I think I'll probably want to watch this movie with me together. Next up is the last item of the Blu-ray I bought at Big Lots. The Good Dinosaur to, um, 2016 Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Mine's a reprint because it comes with this cover, and, and it's in a real interesting sort case. Um, it has an updated case in. This is one of the Pixar movies I've never seen. I actually have one more Pixar movie left to get before the um, new ones come out this year, which is um, 
Turning Red from 2022. It's the only Pixar Blu-ray I'm missing for the collection. Then, once I get the outfit, i shot the collection. With, despite the new one movies coming out this year, I want the Cars 2007 VHS. Mm -hmm. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the feature um, built in the DD disc. And actually, it's not a stacking case, which is surprisingly. I mean, there's actually, there's no blu disc with the um, bonus contact. Or it's just a feature film, which is pretty interesting. Probably is a reprint because of how it's like. Here's this code, which I already used. I'm hoping to watch the anime one on one with this live action remake.